Mukbang. It's been around for years. Why are you making a video on this now, 21? To start the year with a bang, of course. It's already March. What? In case by some miracle you don't know what Mukbang is, you're the last of us. Stop watching the video right now before you get infected. It's basically people shoving food in their faces for 30 to 40 minutes. It's like ASMR but you know, even more weird and repulsive. You know what's even more weird and repulsive? Subscribing to my channel. 78% of you haven't already. What? What did you thought that I wouldn't find out? Apparently the trend of mukbang comes from the enchanted land of Korea. That's right, the Koreans are the ones to blame for this. Let's check out some Korean mukbang. Okay. Why is that man stuffing so much food in his mouth? Mukbang, of course. I think the reason why mukbangs are so popular is because of the thumbnails. They just look insane. They are so catchy and colorful. You look at them and think, there is no way in hell they are gonna eat that. And then you click it and realize, no, they don't. Apparently, according to some articles, Korean society has a tradition of eating together, but this culture is now slowly dying away due to the increase in one-person households. Now people are starting to have these desires to eat with someone, and the internet is solving the problem. Thank you internet, you've fixed it. I can't really be too harsh because the audience watching this is really young and most likely from other cultures. Well, I get that. It's fun to share experiences with others. If you combine that with long formatted videos and really interesting thumbnails, and bam, you got yourself a thriving YouTube channel. Good job, everyone. But there is something about the content that I just don't get. Okay, I feel, you know, what's the word? Uh, disgusted. So you got something that's disturbing enough, but the problem gets way out of hand when the most extremist people on earth gets involved. YouTubers. I don't know about you guys, but I like watching mukbang videos for their intuitive commentary. Really makes you think about the ways you can kill yourself. The two of the most successful channels in mukbang categories are Nikado Avocado and Zach Koi Esama, which are like the main bosses of this menace. These guys know what's up. The thumbnails are on point and the videos just being over 10 minutes. I found out about mukbang a while ago when I saw a viral video of this poor thing. Uh, not the girl, the octopus. This girl trying to eat an octopus which is alive. I mean, what? How is that even possible? But the octopus takes his revenge and attacks the girl on her face. But it's just a start. People eat all kinds of weird things like this one. <laughs> No, 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 just stop. I can't. Or like this one. No, oh, no, somebody stop it, please. How about this one? I would rather starve to death than eat that. What, you don't like seafood? Okay, now my appetite is ruined. That does it for me. Hey, hello everyone. It's been long. I know. I've been working on different projects and it has been a real hassle. You know, sorry for the delay and trying. Got a new haircut? You can't really tell because, you know, you can't see my face. But if you could, you all would be like, Wow, 21, you look really great. Is that a new haircut? Well, yes, it is. Thanks for noticing. So, that's all. Yeah, let's hope the time be short until I see you again. And thanks for watching, I guess. And eat healthy. Or at least try. What? You are going to subscribe and like this video right now? That's an excellent decision.